After spending the last few days in Lapland, Finland, making new friends and exploring the stunning countryside, lakes and rivers around Ivalo and Saraselka, I developed an immediate appreciation for why Finland has been recognized as the happiest place on earth for the past six years. While I'm sad that I have to leave the region so soon, I'm excited to see more of Lapland and next up is the Ruka Kusumo region. The Ruka Kusumo region is well known for many things. The small villages of the area are as welcoming and relaxing as it gets. On the other hand, the Ruka Ski Resort gets the most snow in Finland and offers skiing more than 200 days per year. The region also boasts the most popular hiking trail in Finland, the Karhonkieros Trail, which runs through the Ulanka National Park, one of the most visited parks in Finland. This park is also home to the Ulanka River, which winds its way through more than 100 kilometers of spectacular and remote wilderness. With so much to explore in the area, it's nice knowing that we've got a golden midnight sun to provide us with all the time we need. The big question I'm struggling with is where to start. Paddle Tales is brought to you by Track Kayaks, NRS, Aquabound, Wiley X, and Outdoor Play. Well, one of the things the Northern Finland is really well known for is all the hiking it has. And so we've got a little bit of time, the weather's holding up, we're just outside Aruka and we're going to go to a place that's supposed to have a beautiful view of the area. I love going for hikes because just like paddling, it provides a different perspective of the landscape. When you're hiking, it's a very immersive perspective. You get a real close-up look at all the vegetation and everything that's going on, which you don't when you're paddling. All the activities we've done in Finland have had layers to them, and the hiking wasn't any different. We weren't just hiking up a hill to a beautiful viewpoint. We were foraging for berries along the way. I love blueberries! I'm never going to make it to the top with all these berries here. Well, you don't really need to bring trail food in Finland. Just water. never really know if a hike is going to be worth it or not. You get told, hey, there's a great place uh, for a view at the end of the hike. And sometimes, well, they're duds. <laughs> this is not a dud view. This is spectacular. What a great way to see the Ruka Kusamo area. Unfortunately, I can't hang out here too long because we got some weather swirling around and I don't want to get caught in that. We're at our next home for the night, and this looks like another beautiful place. But before I get to see where I'm staying, we gotta go pick some cloudberries with the chef for our dinner. Oh yeah. Food isn't something that, you know, was really on my radar. I mean, I've never been to a Finnish restaurant before. <laughs> and so 
What is Finnish food? Well, what I've learned is that Finnish food is all about using what's available. It's about local produce, it's about foraging, it's about what you have on hand and making something beautiful from it. Which isn't a big surprise because there are berries everywhere here. And then you've got mushrooms, you've got, well, reindeer. That plays actually a surprisingly big role in the cuisine around here. So it's very easy to pick. Yeah. It's like this. If they're ripe, they, they come yeah. off. Oh yeah. So oh, you yeah, can they're... get it in your dessert. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of color. I wouldn't be a very good berry picker. Yeah. I would eat them all. Okay, but I love the picking up the berries, but of course they're eating all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one, I'm not sure if it's good enough to cook with. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very good. <laughs> I have a feeling Prita was expecting a little bit more picking and less eating from me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We could save it for dinner. Oops. I don't know, is it that for that we are the happiest people here on the is it world or in the European countries, but yeah. I think so. Many people like to go to the forest. Yeah. Even only walking or only sitting here or pick up the berries, mushrooms and of course winter time skiing and doing many kind of things. So I think the outdoors is probably one of the biggest reasons. Yeah, and of course the nature is pure, mm -hmm. so and air is very good one to breathe. So Yeah. That is good points coming to Finland yeah. <laughs> and to Kosovo <laughs> and of course to our place, yes. There is absolutely nothing like fresh food, but fresh berries, whole different thing, whole different level. While our Nordic adventures are continuing, we are in the Kusamo region of northern Finland and we're about to put on the Ulanka River in Ulanka National Park. This is the kind of trip I absolutely love. A two-day river trip. We're staying at a cabin halfway down. Enough talking about it, let's get going. I just got to get this kayak built and then we'll hit the water. So you start here in morning, driving on here, and now we are on here. Okay. On that spot on there. And we start paddling here. The first pit stop is about 600 meters, Ansa Camp, it's wilderness hut, very big there, could be sleep in 20 person. Oh, wow. And then we continue to paddling that river. It's make a lot of curves on here. Yeah, look at the and wind. Our destination today is Aitaniitty. There is four person rental hut where is a very good sauna and possibility to swimming, of course. Of course there's a sauna. Yeah, <laughs> we are in Finland. <laughs> Actually, we have five and a half million people in Finland yeah. and we have 1.6 million saunas on here. <laughs> so you couldn't visit it in Finland without the sa uh, visiting in sauna. You spend night on here and tomorrow morning you continue paddling on here and there is a Jäkälä Mutka, what is your destination. Okay. And this is all Ulanka Ulanka National Park. Park. Yes, National Park. all these uh, green areas is Ulanka National Park. Well, should we hit the water? Yeah. Let's do it. What am I doing? Crazy not to try this boat slider. Oh yeah. <laughs> this looks good. Yeah, perfect weather. Sun. We 
are in Oulanka National Park and we are just paddling in Oulanka River on here. I think that it's the uh, most beautiful river in Finland what we can paddling on here. It's uh, very good to the starting to the paddling because it's not so wild. There is a couple of uh, little bit faster places but if you have good guy he or she teach you how you can going quite well down and even if you just only want to enjoy to the river you can floating down and it's take about six seven hours only this 25 kilometers trip on here you can see in reindeers you can see in eagles on here of course sometimes you can see a couple of mosquitoes here but uh, don't worry about that if you have good snack with you everything going well well hey there buddy how's it going you don't seem too afraid of me do you you're missing your herd <laughs> you are a cool looking creature. If there are a couple things that really stand out in Northern Finland, it's all the saunas and the reindeer. I mean, there's almost one sauna per person in Northern Finland, and there's way more than one reindeer per person. Hey there, fellas. The whole family's out for a day at the beach, huh? I don't blame you, I'd spend a day at the beach here too. <laughs> You're curious. They are beautiful creatures. I can see why Santa has really embraced them as his team. <laughs> So I'm guessing it's, uh, it's not that irregular to find reindeer on the side of the river. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, but uh, there is a couple of reasons. First reason is that uh, they work very hard in December, in Christmas time, and they spend the uh, holidays in summertime. <laughs> of course. But the main reason is that there is so many flies on here, mosquitoes, black flies. So when they come near onto the beach, there is a windy, there right. is a sand so they can sleep quite well on here. Yeah, oh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Go into the woods yeah. and get beaten up by the mosquitoes, the bugs, or hang out on the beach yeah. along the river. <laughs> yeah, and uh, of course we have a couple of predators here, wolves and bears. So if they are near onto the beach, they can cross into the river if they feel that there's a predator coming. So yeah. that's the one reason why they are on here. We have at least 150,000 reindeers here, but the springtime we have almost 300,000. Wow, crazy. Well, you can only pass so many pristine beaches before you have to stop and hop out and relax a little on one. But camp is only about two kilometers away and that means dinner's only two kilometers away. So onward. When you're in the north, any part of the world, you definitely have to expect the weather to change quick and that's what it has done these rain clouds just blew in quick and i think it's going to dump hard but then i think it's going to be a perfect evening I'm sticking with that it's going to be a perfect bluebird evening once the skies let loose Well, we've made it to home for the night. Question is, I'm wet already. Do I go for a swim first in sauna? Or do I get dried off, have dinner, and then go for a swimmer sauna? Oh, the options. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Yes. Bye. See you.
sad to see UC go, but couldn't spend the night. It does mean more food and sauna time for the rest of us, so. What we got here? Okay, so we have today finally the reindeer, what we have seen many times today. <laughs> and that's kind of a made of local, traditional oh. style. And then we have a local bread and the butter as well. Perfect. Yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you. Welcome. Oh wow, that's really good. So it looks like the sauna's going pretty good. Are yeah. we in business yet? It's warming up and uh, I think it's soon quite ready. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready little, for uh, taking a dip in the river? A little after dinner dip in sauna? Yeah, hmm. definitely. How many people fit in there? How many you can get in. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have We're any We're gonna find out. Yeah. <laughs> What a perfect end to an epic day on the Olanka River. Well, it's not, the, it's not the end because I still have a few more sauna and swim sessions to do.